Next week in WWDC 2025, Apple is about to take the iPad experience next level with iPadOS 26. And yes, I said iPadOS 26, because Apple is going to be renumbering all their operating systems with the number 26. So we're gonna see everything from tvOS to iOS to macOS, and of course, iPadOS turning 26. And it makes a lot of sense because Apple really wants to, you know, simplify and unify all their operating systems, therefore calling it iPadOS 26. But I could care less about what Apple decides to call their operating systems because I'm a lot more excited about what Apple is going to be doing, or I should say be bringing to iPadOS this year. And if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, then you probably know that I loved my M4 iPad Pro and iPad mini. And I basically used the M4 iPad Pro as my main computer on a day-to-day -day basis. It is my ultimate productivity tool, and it looks like this year it'll become even more enhanced. And there are two big reasons for why I'm excited for iPadOS this year. So without any further ado, let's get into what we should be expecting in next week's announcement on WWDC. So first things first is an all new visual design. Now this is something that's rumored not just for the iPad, but also the iPhone, the Mac, tvOS, and watchOS. Though there are not a lot of mockups or leaks regarding the design of iPadOS, it is expected to look a lot like iOS. And there have been quite a few mockups for that, especially from John Prosser from Front Page Tech. The new OS is expected to adopt a Vision OS style glass effect, bringing a modern and cohesive look to the interface. And this redesign focuses on consistency and usability. And it ensures that all of Apple's operating systems, not just the iPhone and the iPad, but even the Mac and tvOS and watchOS, that they all feel very unified. And to be very honest, I'm very excited about this because I really like the look and feel of Vision OS. I think it looks super cool and futuristic and to see that being brought to the iPad is something that I'm definitely welcoming. So that's the first thing that I'm very excited about, which is an all new visual overhaul. But the second thing is new enhancements and features that is going to be coming with iPadOS 26. And a lot of this information has been brought by Bloomberg's Mark Gurman, who has a relatively solid track record. Gurman said that the new iPadOS will be a big theme of WWDC this year, and that the upgrade will focus on three key things, productivity, multitasking, and app window management, with an eye on the device operating more like a Mac. Now, over the past few years, the iPad has become really powerful, even replacing the Mac from a lot of people, especially people like myself. But that doesn't go to say that there aren't things that we still miss from the Mac. And there's still a lot of things that the iPad is missing that we iPad users will really, really want. Now, German doesn't really go into detail about what he means by productivity, multitasking, and app window management. But what I'm guessing is that what Apple did with Stage Manager, they're going to take that and take it next level. So I feel like multitasking on the iPad is going to feel more like a Mac than ever before. But once again, Mark Gurman also does say, and I wanna say this to you guys as well, that Apple is not just porting Mac OS over to iPad OS, it's just bringing some things that people really enjoy from the Mac onto the iPad and obviously it's gonna have a more intuitive way to better utilize the touchscreen as well. Then there is another known leaker in the Apple community by the name Meijin Bu, And he also has been reporting for quite a while that there will be a new feature that will come to the iPad OS this year that will make it even more like a Mac. Meijin Bu is basically reporting that when the iPad is connected to a Magic Keyboard, a Mac OS like menu bar will appear on the screen. First off, this is music to my ears. I think that would take productivity alone next level because imagine putting the iPad on the Magic Keyboard and getting more functionality and having a menu bar on the top that changes app to app just like it does on a Mac. So you can quickly just put your cursor over, you know, quick controls and stuff and get much more functionality. And when I take this report from Asian View about having a, you know, menu bar when attached to the keyboard and with Mark German saying that with the new iPad OS, we're going to see, you know, better productivity features I feel like it kind of ties in pretty well together. Also from the same leaker, Meijin Bu, there was another leak from him, and this was regarding pinned files on the iPad screen. And this is something that I would really, really enjoy because on a Mac, it's so cool that you have a great home screen or a desktop screen where you can just pin certain files or applications or documents right then and there. But you can't necessarily do that on the iPad. Yeah, you can have a widget for files, right? But you can't really maneuver it the way you really want, right? I wish I could just take certain PDF files files and just pin it right then and there. And if you look at this image of this leak from Asian View, it looks like Apple was 
either testing this feature or it is something that we will see very, very soon next week. And once again, allowing you to pin your most important files and documents onto your home screen goes back to enhancing productivity, which Mark Gurman is saying will be the biggest focus of iPadOS this year. Also, Apple is developing a standalone multi-platform app for mobile gaming that will let Apple users find and launch games, access in-game achievements, view leadership boards, and this application will replace Game Center. So if you are someone who loves to game and uses their iPad for gaming, I think this might be great for you. Also, Mark Gurman recently just came out with a great new report saying that the Apple Pencil will receive an all-new Arabic calligraphy tool, which will allow users to digitally write an Arabic script and that could possibly transform in text as well. And apparently there will be a really nice virtual read calligraphy pen added as well in part of your tools for the Apple Pencil. So if you are someone who likes to, you know, do Arabic calligraphy, then I think this is going to be nice for you. So at the end of the day, this is basically everything that we can expect from iPadOS. So far, all the reports have been very vague, but they all lead to one main thing, that this will be a big year for iPadOS. And like I said, I am very, very excited. And of course, I will be live streaming for the very first time. I will be live streaming WWDC on my channels. So if you want to geek out and discuss iPadOS and basically all the cool updates that Apple will be bringing as WWDC is happening, then make sure to join me at 10 a.m. Pacific time or 1 p.m. Eastern time, and we'll have a great time live streaming WWDC. And of course, the moment the event wraps up and Apple drops the beta software for iPadOS, I will immediately download it, give you my first thoughts and show you the all new features and the new design. So be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you very shortly.